Hello, good evening again unto you. Certainly peace and blessings from poem praise to, to you. And next on our extraordinary African Americans is Nat Love, a cowboy. Um, 1854 to 1921, which, due to the fact I'm kind of looking at this picture, I guess he's not a cowboy, he's actually a cow man. I don't even know if they have those, but a cow man. And this is what it reads as such regarding Mr. Love. A former slave from Tennessee, his real name was Nat Love. But as a result of a book based on his life, he became known everywhere as Deadwood Dick. He was a gunfighter, scout, range, boss, rodeo rider, and to hear him tell it, the best all-around cowboy in the West. He survived outlaw attacks, captured by Native Americans, and 14 gunshot wounds. Mm, 14. <laughs> wow. Okay. Love's adventures began in 1869 when he got lucky and won a horse in a raffle. He sold his horse, split the money with his mother, paid a few bills, and took off for Dodge City, Kansas to become a cowboy. Already an experienced horse trainer, Love quickly learned to herd and brand cattle and to use a gun. He got his first job at the Duval Ranch. Later, he hired on with the Peter Gallinger outfit. In 1876, a big 4th of July celebration was held in Deadwood, South Dakota. The town was crowded with cowboys from all over the territory. It was during this celebration that Love competed in several contests that made him famous. He won the rifle and handgun matches and set a record in the rope throw and bronco riding contests. Mm. As the West became settled. Love left range life and took a job on the railroad. Like thousands of other African American men and women who had left behind memories of slavery, he traveled west seeking a fresh start. It is estimated that one-fifth of America's cowboys were African Americans, men seeking to make a new life for themselves. As pioneers, they played a major part in settling the West and made life easier for thousands of people who came later. All right, I thank you for tuning in, listening about the cowmen, the cowboys. And next uh, coming up is going to be Jan Ernst Matzelinger inventor 1852 to 1889 so certainly stay tuned to see what mr matzelinger invented all right till then i will be speaking to you a little later if it's in thy will so peace to you all right in a little bit y'all later